<laughs> Good Filipino afternoon to everybody. Derek with Q Adventures here. I just want to take the opportunity to thank World Travel Flow for joining the Platinum, uh, Platinum membership in our, on our YouTube channel. And then um, also, you know, like, um, I just wanted to take a few moments to explain to you guys what you guys are supporting when you are viewing my channel. This is the less interesting stuff. Uh, but recently we have Recently, we have recruited Sheena and Carmela. <laughs> okay, they, they've been working, you know, on tearing down the roof uh, for the last five hours, so they don't want to be on camera because uh, they're females after all and feel self-conscious. But anyway, you know, like, um, this is obviously Bernadetta's house, you know, and uh, just to remind everybody and uh, uh, to pick up to date those who are new, you know, in, uh, on our channel. Uh, Bernadetta is a very kind lady who has uh, rescued the uh, uh, senior citizen gentleman from Wales, we, uh, from Wales, uh, who was homeless and you know was in the juvenile facility, and she rescued him and uh, uh, housed him over here. Uh, and then, of course, we discovered him and helped bring him back to Wales and overcome all the overstay visas and stuff like that. Uh, after he went home, uh, after we were successful in flying him home, you know, we helped Bernadetta out by uh, doing the home improvement. You know, like all these walls right here used to be, uh, you know, just brick exposed, you know, but of course we put a, you know, like a layer of uh, skim coat and then we put in these windows right here, these sidings and, um, you know, painted the whole thing. Uh, not only that, but, you know, Bernadetta always left, you know, lived here without doors. Uh, but, you know, like, um, uh, through the process, you know, we helped her out. We funded the whole thing and, you know, kind of just made the night, uh, the house look pretty. Uh, put in doors and uh, inside her room over here. Inside her room right here, you know, like, uh, due to privacy, I'm not going to open the door. You know, like, uh, one of the subscribers, you know, donated some money to you know, get her an air conditioner, uh, thinking that she deserves it, which I 100% agree. So what we're doing now is just like, uh, after we met Carmela and Sheena over there, you know, like uh, they're very um, uh, motivated individuals, you know, so what we're doing right now is just like, we tear down the roof and try to convert this into, you know, like a small restaurant. So uh, this, this is what we do for the locals, you know, uh, from our YouTube monetization. Uh, it's been said or suggested many times, how come I don't, you know, like incorporate or open up a charity or register, you know, uh, an organization to, to do these things, to accept donations. Um, I'm always reluctant about that because the moment that we accept donations, you know, we lose our freedom. I cannot do stuff like this, you know, in order for me to accomplish something like this. I have to ask for uh, permission. I have to file paperwork, wait for approval. It's just the process is just uh, uh, endless. And uh, we unselfishly, you know, like uh, do this, you know, like without an organization, you know, like we just found opportunity, talent, you know, local talent, uh, motivation and drive. And then we just decided to do this. Uh, and the, the problem is, you know, it's solved. It's just like it creates, you know, stability for the locals over there. Number one, number two, you know, um, it, it solves the problem of, you know, for Bernadetta, who was a senior, you know, she's always uh, have in back of her head that, you know, if she ever loses the job at the uh, juvenile detention center, you know, like uh, she would, you know, probably at her age, you know, will not get another job. And then she would, you know, like um, because of these concerns, sorry, doggy, because of these concerns, you know, like she went and bought those. Uh, let's see here. Like, um, you know, this cooking cart, you know, as a backup, you know, to her security, her retirement or whatever, you know, to fund her retirement. And um, uh, it broke my heart when she told me that, you know, to buy something like this that is used and pretty tore up and beat up. You know, she spent about 500 US dollars, but, you know, that's how much she was worried about, you know, like losing her job or, you know, change of government and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so then, you know, like uh, when we rented her place over here, you know, like um, uh, not only did we create, you know, like a, um, uh, a stream of income for her, you know, every month we pay her rent. And then on top of that, you know, it's just like, we're going to put a restaurant eatery here. Uh, Bernadetta already has, you know, like a piece of water right here. So one piece of at a time, she earns, you know, like a little bit money, but very little. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, in addition to that, you know, add like a, a piece of Wi-Fi. 
So students, the whole idea is that, you know, we're going to set up tables right here. And um, we're going to, you know, set up tables in here so the students can, you know, hang out, do their homework, you know, under shelter. You know, when the rain comes or it gets too hot, you know, like um, it doesn't affect her whatsoever. I mean, it doesn't affect the students whatsoever. They can hang here, you know, using the Wi-Fi and um, Carmela and uh, Sheena will feed the students. Uh, and then, you know, like... We're gonna do fun stuff and you know like promote stuff by putting like posters over here you know to uh benefit the you know more in specific the redswood um uh school right there which is high school slash college so um that's our you know like for for the time being you know that's our target you know like audience and then um of course you know like we didn't raise any money we didn't ask for any donations but with the YouTube monetization just by simply you guys watching my channel I was able to use that money to invest you know in like a chest freezer right here <coughs> excuse me and then these printers and you know like um, um, uh, just you know like plates and stuff like that you know getting table materials to get this up and going so Sheena and Carmela can you know like um, uh, pursue their opportunity you know and then not only that when everything is up and going you know it, it benefits a student as well you know they have access to a variety of different foods you know such as for example you know spaghetti and meatball not spaghetti with hot dog <laughs> and um, just you know offering them you know like a different uh, variety of food and stuff like that at a very low cost as well and then um, uh, beyond that, you know, uh, Carmela and uh, Sheena over here, they will develop, you know, like a menu and we start doing catering and stuff like that to kind of, you know, like hit up the, uh, uh, the expat community um, down the street. You know, there's two uh, subdivisions and then, you know, Tambuli, Costabella, you know, like all these places that caters to long term residents as well. And I'm sure they don't want to eat resort food every day. So, you know, like uh, uh, we have a long term plan to make this, uh, you know, like successful. And then, you know, at the end of the day, it makes a big circle back to benefit the, uh, the student and supporting our local community over here. So, you know, like um, uh, in the farther future, you know, it's just like uh, we want to invest a little bit more money, you know, to build a second level over here. So then we can hold, you know, like uh, staff and uh, you know, giving people opportunities so they don't have to, you know, they'll always have a roof over their head and they don't have to worry about, you know, paying rent and stuff like that and just open up these two rooms over here and um, uh, expand the restaurant. My mother is coming in January. <laughs> so uh, my mom is a really good cook and she's really into, you know, like all uh, natural stuff, you know, so uh, she's gonna teach these young ladies here, including I and whoever else wants to learn to develop a few Vietnamese, genuine Vietnamese food. And then we're gonna, you know, add that to the menu over here. And then, um, uh, again, you know, just to offer the locals, you know, like a more uh, variety of uh, food selections. And the Philippines is notoriously known for, you know, or not known for the culinary arts. Uh, but we want to, you know, like change that in a small way and uh, give access to some authentic Vietnamese food, egg rolls and stuff like that, uh, pho and stuff like that. So, you know, like um, uh, the big plan is to grow this operation and uh, creating opportunities for the locals. And all that is not possible without your viewership. And once again, I want to uh, give a special shout out to uh, World Travel Flow for joining our YouTube community at, on uh, Platinum uh, membership. So if you want to um, follow in the footstep of, uh, you know, World Travel Flow and Cooley, um, you know, and join the membership to further support our efforts and action, you know, I know stuff like this, you know, it's a little bit, um, I guess, you know, whenever we make videos like this, we don't get too many views, you know, because you're just looking at me solo and there isn't like a dialogue interaction. So, um, uh, so we don't typically make videos like this but in the background it does happen and you know like once again you know if you want to follow in the footsteps of Cooley and World Travel Flow in joining the community to give me further support um, uh, but if you're not able to do that I you know I don't insist you know or I don't ask of you to uh, however I do ask of you to share my videos in your social media um, you know like with the world culture nowadays you know with so many negativity on the internet I'm hoping that my little space over here, my little channel over here, doing kind things or doing positive things would, 
you know, some way, somehow, in a little bit sense, you know, like, like uh, counter, you know, all these negativity that are going um, uh, in the world. So uh, please share my content, you know, within your social circles and hopefully, you know, will help my channel grow and I can do more of this uh, in a more grand gesture. Meanwhile, thank you very much for tuning into my channel and your ever support of my channel. Until next time. You have a good one. <laughs> she said it. <laughs>